Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a house tour. Um, we live on Eglin Air Force Base in the new housing. We live in the three bed, two and a half bath. Um, so this is what the front of it looks like and what our front porch looks like. I just have this mat and some fall decorations and mums um, that are actually kind of dying. Um, I made that wreath, which I think is really cute. And then we just have some um, patio furniture out front on our porch. And then this is what our garage looks like. Um, it's basically like Andy's little workbench, craft, woodworking area. I mean, ignore the Christmas tree that's up. Um, but yeah, he has the workbench that he built and that's pretty much it, just an average garage. So I'll show you guys the inside. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you first walk in. Um, the pups are going to be in this, just so you know. So that's the garage door that we just walked in. And this is the living room and kitchen to the right. And then we have a, a half bath right there. <laughs> Daisy's making noises. Um, and then this is like the front room. And this is what our dining room looks like. This is just what we made it into. Um, I don't have a rug in here just because somebody chewed it. <laughs> um, so I haven't got a new one um, just because, I don't know, I just haven't. Um, but like I said, I'll mention where I got some of my stuff from. A lot of my stuff I've made it. So, or I've gotten it from somebody and then repurposed it. So like this table I actually bought off of somebody on Facebook and the whole thing was the bottom of it was white and then this was like I don't know if you can see but it was that color and so I just repainted it uh, with some chalk paint that gray color and then we got these chairs off of Wayfair um, we actually got eight of them two of them are upstairs I think um, and then this hutch I actually got from somebody off of Facebook again and it was completely brown like the inside of it is, but I repainted the whole thing white and it actually turned out really good. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I've gotten from like when I traveled and stuff. That is from Andy when he was in Turkey. Those two roses Andy's gotten me for like gifts and stuff. Um, and then we just have some pictures on the walls. And again, that's the front. Somebody's moving so their truck is out there. Um, but this is like our little for your area. I just have these pillows on there since it's Thanksgiving time. And they use a safety still my soul. And then, so you walk this way. And this is just a closet. Um, we just kind of keep our shoes and um, some hurricane stuff, some Christmas decor, my vacuum, the dog's food, stuff like that in there. And then I just have this wreath. Um, I actually made that out of burlap flowers and then I just painted this bee. And hung that there and then this area is our kind of like catch-all um, I put this I actually got this little tray from uh, Goodwill and I repainted it I spray painted it that's just where I put all of our keys and stuff and then I think I got these home hooks from Lowe's and you just hang them up and then they're just like little hooks for our hats and coats and whatever um, but and then Daisy's waiting by the door because she wants to be let outside. <laughs> um, and then this is our living room. Um, we got this couch off of, um, we got this couch from Ashley Furniture. Um, honestly, I don't really recommend it. It doesn't really hold up that well with dogs and um, it pills really easily. So I really wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I like it, it's comfortable and all, but we'll probably get a new one not that long from now. Um, and then our ottoman we actually made out of a coffee table from Goodwill and the tray on top of it Andy made. And then this rug we got from Old Time Pottery for like 35 bucks. Daisy, get away from the candle. But yeah, we got this from Old Time Pottery for like 35 bucks. It's just something cheap for the dogs to have. 
because with dogs everything gets dirty and they're still young so she really wants that candle <laughs> um, and then we actually got our TV from the BX I got our entertainment center from somebody off of Facebook for like 50 bucks um, and then these little lamp things I had another one in the dining room um, I got that for, off of Amazon but they're actually IKEA lamps and then that um, blanket ladder I actually made that while Andy was deployed um, it was actually really easy so and then that window above the TV um, we actually got from our friend oh, Andy just came out not that long ago and then this is actually something that I did after me and, I, me and Andy got married. Um, it's just like a little shadow box that has sand from the beach that we got married on, our rings, and then roses from the day that he proposed to me. So yeah, it's just something really special. That's a picture from whenever we got engaged. I forgot to mention too this um, little hope chest. My mom actually got that for me. Kind of has like all of our keepsakes and stuff in it, um, like my baby book and stuff. But yeah, my mom got that for me from like an antique shop. It's really old, it smells really old like cedar, um, but I think it's really pretty and fits really well right there. Now, this is the half bath downstairs. Um, I actually did that wallpaper myself. Um, it's actually just like little strips of paper. Um, and so I just cut one in half and then did every other. Um, this little table, I actually made that too, but we cut it in half because it wouldn't fit in here and then I stained it. And then I just have these little um, candle holder things that I got from Goodwill. Um, I made this little sign that just says changing the toilet paper will not cause brain damage. <laughs> and then my mom gave me that plant and I just got a, um, a pot for it. And then I have a little basket down here that I usually have extra toilet paper in, but we actually need to get some more. So, And then I have this little candle on top of the toilet. And then I have this tray that um, my friend actually gave me and then I made the vinyl cutout that says Hello Sweet Cheeks on it. So I thought that, that was cute. And then I just have some soap, a little towel in here. And then I have this little mat in here. I actually had this before I did the wall and then I realized how perfect it went in here so I put it in here. And then if you walk this way, this is kind of this is usually where we eat dinner every night, just because it's just me and Andy, so there's really no point in going into the dining room. Um, that's why this house is kind of set up a little bit weird, because the dining room is so far away from the kitchen. Um, I have seen a few people put their like little table right here, but this works perfect for us because it's just us. And this is our kitchen. A lot of people say that they hate base housing kitchens, but I actually love our kitchen. Um, this is just kind of like an overview of it. So we just have the built-in microwave above the oven, which is really nice. And then I put some wine glasses up there, or some wine bottles up there that are my favorite. Um, a little bee, some coffee sayings that I had from our old coffee bar um, at our old house that I like. And then I just have a few things on the stove. We have these little towels out since it was just Halloween, and then I have some Thanksgiving stuff up. Um, not too much, nothing too crazy. Then I have these little towels. Um, these towels I think I got, Natalie got me that from Target, I think. I got that, I think, from TJ Maxx. That's actually from Walmart. That, honestly, I can't remember where I got that, but probably TJ Maxx. Um, and then just a few things through here. That's an essential oil diffuser that Andy got me for my birthday. Just a candle that's about to fall down. Um, we have two knife sets because that's how many people got us, so we just have them both up there. And then 
I got this little pitcher from Hobby Lobby and I just turned it into my little utensil holder. This is actually wallpaper. It's not actually real um, backsplash. It's wallpaper that I put up just to make it feel a little bit less like base housing. So that's a tip for you. And then I always have a candle up there and then I have this little recipe for a military wife that my mom actually gave me since she was married to my dad while he was in the military. And then this little wooden cutout is actually from a um, project Andy was doing um, and I just kind of took it out of the garage and stained it. And I got my little spoon holder from TJ Maxx. Got that little oil holder probably from TJ Maxx. I have gotten questions on those um, salt and pepper holders or shakers. They're little like mason jar things. I actually got this from Walmart and I'm pretty sure that they were both less than a dollar. So, And then just my KitchenAid mixer. Um, we usually have fruit in there but I really need to go grocery shopping. So, And then our sink. We actually do have a window above our sink which is really, really, really nice. And I actually put, um, I actually put some curtains up there and then I made that wreath and I made those curtains too out of a pillowcase actually. So yeah, that is pretty much it for our kitchen. Um, it's pretty simple, but I actually really like it. It looks perfect for us. And if anybody's wondering, that's where our pantry is. It's not very big, but I mean, it works for us and it's fine. And then this is the back door, obviously. Um, I just have some mugs hanging here since it's right off the kitchen. Um, I actually use these every day, so. And then we just have that sign up there that I just recently made with my friend. And I'll go ahead and show you guys our backyard. So this is what it looks like. Our grass is actually pretty torn up. Guess from who? <laughs> um, it's not a very big yard, but it works for us. And we just have our chairs out here. We have our grill, and then we just redid this area over here for our garden and some stone and stuff. Okay, so then coming back inside, this is again the living room. This is kind of like the dog corner. Um, Andy made that uh, dog feeding station for the dogs. And then I just put a little mat underneath of it. Um, we had these pictures done. Um, a while ago during Andy's mid tour, so I just got those canvases made off of Groupon and um, hung those up there. And then we got this dog food thing from Andy's grandmother got it for us, I think last Christmas, well I guess she got it for Jax. Um, but then I just have the dog's bed over there. Oh, I also wanted to mention these curtains, the ones that were in the dining room and the kitchen, they are actually Walmart sheets. Um, so yeah, I just got the little clips and then folded it over and hung it and that's what it looks like. It actually looks really pretty and I made the curtain rods out of a metal bar and some like plumbing hook thingies that I got from Lowe's. Super cheap and it looks really, really, really good. And then I made this little home is where the Air Force sends a sign doing a reverse canvas and with my vinyl cutter that I have. So that is pretty much it for the downstairs area. Um, that's pretty much the gist of it. So I'll go ahead and take you guys upstairs. And going up the stairs, I just have this little um, scroll right here hanging that I made. Um, I actually cut out a stencil for that Hello Fall thing and then drew it on there. But I figured I could change it for the seasons and it would be cute. So these are what the stairs kind of do. They just like loop around. And when you go up the stairs, we have this little shadow box right here. It just has like things from where we've gone and places that we've toured and all that kind of stuff. And then over here, we have one of the spare, spare bedrooms, a linen closet, the spare bathroom. Then we have another spare bedroom. Then we have the laundry and then the master. So I'll take you in the master first and then we'll work our way out. So this is what our master looks like, just a little overview.
bed was perfectly made, but then Beavis and Butthead jumped on it, so. So I got this mirror from Hobby Lobby, who's actually on sale. And then we got all of our um, bedroom furniture from Ashley Furniture, along with our couch downstairs. So we got our nightstands, the headboard with the platform and everything, and then we got the tall dresser and the long dresser with the mirror, all from Ashley. Um, we actually got our mattress and box spring from Sam's Club. And then I actually made these little lamps above our beds. Um, I just kind of got the pieces from Lowe's and just kind of winged it and put it all together. We just have a little A and E on our nightstands and just some little trinkets and things like that that are special to us. And then I just got these from Hobby Lobby. I also got that from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have some candles and things up there. Andy's grandmother got us that little heart-shaped thing for whenever we got married. And then we have our hamper. I have another diffuser up here that I always like to have on. And then we just have some little little things up there. I do need to get some curtains for in here, but, but honestly, I just haven't really gotten around to it. So that's why we don't have any up here. And this is what the bathroom looks like. Um, it's not like huge, but it's perfect for us. And it does have the double sink, so that's really, really, really nice. Um, the only thing that does suck is that these drawers are fake. Um, so you really only have what's underneath there. Um, so that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, we have the double sink. And yeah, there's another one of those little round things that I stole from Andy when he was making something in the garage. Um, but yeah, we just have these mats in here. And then I actually made that shelf up there for Andy to put his stuff on. We got this shower curtain from Target. Yeah, these mats are from Walmart. And this is just the toilet area. Um, I made these shelves at our last house and then we brought them here. I got the sign, the bottle, and the bee, and the um, galvanized bucket, all from Hobby Lobby. And then this is what the closet looks like. It's actually right inside the bathroom. We actually fit all of our stuff in here, surprisingly. Um, I think it's because we have the two big dressers in our bedroom, so a lot of it goes in there. But Andy made the, these shelves for um, in the closet, so that helps a lot so that we can put our shoes under it and then like jeans and hoodies and stuff that we can fold on top of it. But Andy has all of his sh shirts in here and I just have all my stuff that I hang up in there too. So that's basically the master and now we'll go on to the other bedrooms. So when you walk out of the master, the laundry is right here, and I have this little sign up there that I made, and it says laundry today, laundry today or naked tomorrow, which is literally my life. So I'll show you guys what the laundry looks like, even though you probably don't care. But um, this is our laundry area. It's actually pretty big. You have a good amount of space, um, and I just have our soaps and stuff up there, and then I actually hung this bar here, so it's easy for me to hang clothes whenever I'm folding the laundry. That box is with some rags in it, and then that foam thing is for the washer in case we move again, which that's a tip. If you buy a new washer and dryer, it comes with that, so keep it because when you move, you don't want your drum inside your washer to move all around and get broken. And this is the kind of washer and dryer that we have. We have the Samsung, I don't know what it's called, but it's just like the basic Samsung one. I really like them. Um, they work for us. They're pretty big. This is what the dryer looks like. Um, I think we paid like $900 for the set, which wasn't bad because it came with a warranty and delivery and all that stuff. So, so then leaving the laundry room, I'll go into what we call Andy's man cave. <laughs> um, so this would be the smaller of the two spare bedrooms. Um, so we, we made this into Andy's kind of game room, office, man cave area. <laughs> So he has this little Ohio State stuff. He actually made this desk and my desk that I'll show you later. Uh, but yeah, this is his little desk area and his TV that he uses with his computer. And then he got, we got that um, futon. It actually lays down, so it's a couch right now, but it lays down into a futon in case we have extra people over. We got that from Walmart. And then he got this big beanbag chair, for, actually when he was in Turkey. And then, um, we have another one of the dining room chairs that we didn't need downstairs, so we just put it up here. 
And then his TV he actually got while he was in Turkey at the BX there. He just has a flag hanging up. And he keeps his um, military like Santis and socks and all that in there. And then in this closet, I'm not going to open it because it's messy. Um, but he keeps all of his uniforms and like I keep like my very, very, very formal dresses in here and like random like snow gear and stuff that we obviously don't need in Florida. So then moving on, um, there's this linen closet right here that I just keep extra towels and whatever in. Um, and then this is the spare bathroom. So this actually has a double vanity as well. Sorry, the mirror is like really dirty. Um, but yeah, this has a double sink as well. Um, and this is like our beach themed bathroom. actually got these little shell things, the set, um, the toothbrush holder and the soap container and all that. Um, my mom actually got that when I was like a teenager and she just passed it on to me. So, and then my mother-in-law got me that. I just got some, some shells and put them in there. And then again, that came with the set and my mom actually made that wooden sign right there. Um, my older sister got me that, so I can't tell you where that came from. And then my mom also made that too. We got this shower curtain from Walmart, I believe. Those towels are from Target. I have a wax warmer from Walmart. And my mom also made those too. And then I'm pretty sure all these mats are also from Walmart. And now moving on to my she shed or my uh, spare bedroom or my office or my craft closet. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, so this is like my little area. This is where we would call, I guess, our spare bedroom. Um, we just made it into this little nook in this room just because I needed a space for my area and we needed a space for guests too. So this is actually a box spring that I covered with fabric so it would look less like a box spring. Um, and then we got the mattress from Wayfair and the whole bedspread off from Walmart. And then the headboard. And then the headboard we actually made out of pallets and then we stained it. So technically the headboard was pretty much completely free besides the nails and the stain because we already had that stuff. And then obviously we used a drill and a saw and all that. And then I made that be our guest sign. I actually made that um, out of a scrap piece of wood and um, little letters that I had already had and then I cut out the little leafy thing with my vinyl cutter and then we have this little nightstand over here that is something that I also made um, so I got that little um, lamp from Hobby Lobby it's actually on sale because one of the leaves is broken on it but I didn't really care and then I got this little thing from Goodwill and then I made that as well which I'll obviously blur out um, just says but first Wi-Fi on it for our guests so they don't have to wonder what the Wi-Fi password is. And then I just put some more beachy stuff in here. And then this is like my little corner of the room that I spend a lot of time at. This is the desk that Andy made me. This is my desk where I do all my homework, all my editing, and literally everything. Um, so I have a bunch of my books there just from school. And then we got this chair from TJ Maxx. And then this little mat from Office Depot. And I just have a bunch of my stuff up here, my MacBook. Um, I got this from Five and Blow the other day for literally like four bucks. And I made all of these little signs with just motivational quotes on them. And then I'm pretty sure I got that lamp at Walmart. And then just a bunch of office stuff. Um, my Pi Theta Kappa induction certificate. So yeah, that's my little office area. And then 
we got these curtains from the BX and they actually work pretty well. Um, I have this one to open because one for the light and two of the dogs really like to look out there and see everybody go by. Now in this closet, we don't have clothes or anything in here. We actually have my little she shed craft closet. <laughs> so I actually got this table off of somebody. Um, they were giving it away for free. So I was like, yeah, I'll come get it. And then that's my vinyl cutter. That's my sewing machine. And then just the table. I hung a pegboard up there to hang stuff on. These buckets, somebody was giving away in the neighborhood. So I got them. I have a bunch of like my filming stuff, my lights and tripod and all that kind of stuff there. And then I just have some storage craft stuff and little boxes that I don't want to get rid of up there and that kind of stuff. So yeah, this works perfect for me and I don't really need like a ton of space to craft, but I do love to craft if you haven't noticed how much stuff that I made. So that's a tip if you like have a spare bedroom and don't know what to do with the closet, definitely make it into something useful. So yeah, that is pretty much it for our house tour. This is military housing, three bed, two and a half bath at Eglin Air Force Base and I hope you guys enjoyed.